All right, guys, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how I passed Apex 50K uh, account challenge using the bread and butter strategy. So let's get right into it. Let me first show you the proof. Let's go to my Trade of Eight account so you guys can see that I do have five PA accounts, as you guys can see. Equity is 50,000. Okay. Uh, and so now. I am a funded trader with Apex, okay? Uh, one key thing to let you guys know is that uh, once you pass your funded account, uh, there's going to be an activation fee for you to get your uh, funded accounts, okay? So I started off with five. Uh, some people start off with one. That's totally fine. Just know that there is cost involved. So to activate your, once you pass it, the evaluation phase uh, to activate your personal account. Uh, you have to either pay a one-time $160 activation fee per account, or you can pay monthly uh, $105 per month. Okay. I know in the past it was a little, a little bit cheaper. Uh, I think it was like $85 a month and 140, uh, but it actually went up to 105 and 160 per account so you you can either pay one one time for lifetime of the account or you can pay monthly which is 105 okay so that's just something to keep in mind when you're going with apex okay so if you're just not able to afford getting 5 10 20 accounts at this time start off with one account get a payout they're always running specials like they're doing right now 80 percent off you can always have a chance to add more accounts okay but don't stress yourself trying to get more than one account okay let's just focus on what's important right now and that is passing your challenge okay um so let's talk about it how do how did i pass the apex 50k account challenge well again my name is Vinny. i'm the creator of an indicator called the cheat code indicator Trading is already hard, and one of the hardest things about tra trading is knowing when to buy and when to sell. Wouldn't we all agree with that? Now, uh, I'm a visual person, so I like to see when to buy and when to sell. So we have an indicator called Vinny's Trading Cheat Code. Let me turn it on for you to see. And uh, it consists of actually three separate indicators. So let me go ahead and turn off. Of the trend indicator real quick okay so this is Vinny's trading cheat code it consists of envelope bands we have a upper band which is in red lower band which is in blue okay we have a moving average which is a 47 moving average and then inside of the band is another moving average called the hall moving average which we use for our entries okay what we're looking for with the cheat code indicator guys is extremes in the market we only trade extremes in the market Again, let me say that one more time. We only trade extremes in the market. So whenever price goes outside of the band on, on the low end, we get a CC buy. If it goes outside of the band at the top, we get a CC sell. That is what we're looking to trade. Now, there's other buy and sell signals here, which are divergence buy and sell signals. It's just an added confluence that are added to the indicator to let you know or give us an early warning that price is going to reverse. Okay. So that is uh, the cheat code in a nutshell. So when I turn on the trend indicator, uh, we get another added confluence, which is called a high probability spike. So you get these little arrows here and um, a high probability spike. There's these blue and red lines. So whenever the cheat code CC buyer CC sell lines up with the high probability spike, that trade is golden. OK, that is a high probability trade. So how I trade futures is a little different how I trade Forex because Forex, I swing trade Forex. But with futures, we know we have to scalp, OK, because you have to close our trades at the end of business day. So I traded off of the one hour time frame. So how the bread and butter strategy works is we use our one hour for direction. OK, we use our one hour time frame for direction and then we either enter on the five or 15 minute time frame. For me personally, I enter on the 15 minute time frame. So in this example here, we're going to take this example here on uh, S&P 500. We had a CC buy here 
we have a high probability spike and we have a divergence bias signal okay so once we get that on the one hour time frame we're going to go ahead and highlight it right here what we're looking for is a break and retest on the 15 minute time frame to enter into this trade okay now we did get an initial break and retest so the price broke the hall moving average came back down to retest this low and that could have been our entry now with the news that came out on friday it gave us another possible entry it came back to retest this low area here okay so now that was another opportunity for us to get into the market so we had not only one but two opportunities to get in for a buy on s p 500 so it, we actually took this trade on friday it was a beautiful trade i took this trade on nq uh you guys can go back in on a free telegram group and actually see that trade that i took matter of fact let me bring up the telegram group right now so here is how i long in q and as you guys can see all five accounts are in profit using the bread and butter strategy okay now you can go back to our free telegram group and you can see guys i've been using the bread and butter strategy every single day i document it every single day when i take a trade using the bread and butter strategy uh, for me, I try to make trading as simple as possible. It has to be simple. Okay. It cannot be complicated. Okay. It has, it has to be like a, a robot when it comes to trading, because if you're looking for too many different things, you're just going to confuse yourself and uh, you're not going to be a profitable trader. Okay. I think that's what a lot of people do. They, they confuse. They're looking for too many different things. They're trying to combine strategies. And my strategy is simple. One hour signal five or 15 minute break and retest that's it that's the bread and butter strategy there's nothing else to it if you want access to this free strategy guys there will be a link below this video and you guys can get, get this free strategy where i break it down in detail on how to use the bread and butter strategy again this is a free strategy that anybody can use okay um other than that that is how i pass the apex funded accounts five accounts okay um i actually use the trade copier on trade of eight it's a very easy process uh right now i, I didn't want to buy another trade copier so i just decided to use the trade copier within trade of eight okay uh, once i get 10 15 20 accounts then I'll, I'll probably pay to get the other uh, uh trade copier but right now uh with five accounts it's totally fine to use the trade of eight copier so i actually take trades right here on trade of eight i was taking trades on trading view uh, but now i just trade my personal account on trading view and i'll trade the five accounts here on trade of eight so i use again trading view as my charting software to see where i'm going to take the trade and then i just place the trades right on trade of eight okay um something else i wanted to show you guys um all right so if you want access to vinny's trading cheat code you can go to vinny's trading code.com the link will be in the description below and you will get all three indicators we have vinny's trading cheat code that you guys seen uh the cc trend indicator and we have a hps scanner okay and i'm going to show you the scanner in just a second okay uh all right and so you can purchase vinny's trading cheat code also if you want to learn how to trade futures and you want one-on-one -on -one access you got questions uh go ahead and book a session with me guys um people have left uh reviews um doing the one-on-one -on -one session with me okay it's a half hour session for 77 dollars. i'm doing that until the end of the month price will go up so make sure you go ahead and book your session there will be a link for this in the bottom of uh the description below okay let's talk about the hps scanner so let's go to my futures chart and here guy here is the hps scanner it's in gray okay and what this does is you can load up any uh futures 
uh, pairs or whatever it is that you're trading. I don't care if it's cryptocurrency, Forex, stocks, bonds. It works for all instruments. Again, it works for all instruments, futures. So what, what, what it does is it scans the market for high probability setups. Okay. So whatever time frame that you're on, you're looking for a direction. Like right now we have the market is closed. So it's not too much lit up, not, nothing going on right now. Uh, but we have one for ZN for a buy and then RBJ for a sale. So green means buy, red means sell. Okay. Once that happens, it gives you the highest probability of a trade going in your direction. So all we do, again, once we get a, a, a setup on the scanner, we'll just go to our one hour time frame. We make sure that we get in our cheat code sell signal. We make sure that we get in a high probability spike. Once that happens, guys, then we simply go to the five or 15 minute time frame, wait for the break and retest and enter into that trade and profit from that trade. Very, very simple, very easy to understand. I'm not looking for too many different things. Uh, we want to, again, keep trading as simple as possible. This is how you're able to repeat the process of getting funded, getting payouts, and getting consistently profitable, okay? That is the secret. Stick with a, a simple, simple strategy. Other than that, my name is Vinny. Make sure you guys go download uh, the free bread and butter strategy. Okay. The link will be in the description below. Go get the cheat code, join the group guys and come join a winning team. All right. Other than that, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later.